The new 7Fs performed brilliantly on the water headline. They buffed up and down the line, pulling heavy good strengths. But there still wasn't enough locomotives to run the line properly. The board of directors knew this, and they decided to buy a British Rail Class 76, which were originally constructed to run the Woodhead line itself. The new engine arrived the next day. It surveyed the yard in Manchester. It spotted only one other engine there. It was a Class 08 shunter, who smiled warmly at the newcomer. Hello there, I'm Daniel. What's your name? They call me John. Are these for me? Daniel jumped. The newcomer spoke with a strong Scottish accent. Uh, yes, they are. Well, thank you very much. May I ask you, Daniel, are there any steam engines on this line? Yes, there are five other steam engines. There is uh, LMS Black 5, an LNR V2, an Austerity, and two Somerset and Dorset 7Fs. Well, I was optimistic. Um, what do you mean? Well, Daniel, let me tell you what a Class 46 once said. Steam engines pull our image. Do you understand what I mean now? Right, okay. Well, I better be off now. It was nice talking to you, Daniel. John reached Sheffield 15 minutes earlier than expected, which meant that he had to be diverted onto another platform. Are you serious? A black five? No wonder they called me in. After all, I am a revolutionary type. And yet, you didn't spot me. No. Don't tell me you're the black five we couldn't find. I very well am. That's not possible. 
In the end, we all thought you were scrapped after all. But I was not. And、uh, apparently, I won't be at all. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm preserved. Oh, Arya, you're a black five. Who would want to preserve ye? I would. Just then, Mr. Salmon stepped down from John's train. Hello, John. My name is Edwin Salmon. I'm the official manager here at the Woodhead Line. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Now, you performed brilliantly on your run earlier, and may I ask you, would you like to become the Woodhead Line electric engine number one? Does that mean I can stay, sir? Yes, it does. Now, some workmen are waiting for you to remember you. Please move over there. Oh, I, sir. John moved to a siding, where he received his new number. That night, John was left on a siding at Manchester with Daniel. Do you understand, Daniel? Steam engines are an enemy. Yes, yes, I do understand. Chat up, juice jockey. Daniel didn't actually agree with John. He liked steam engines. He told everything that John told him to William the next morning. And then he said that steam engines are an enemy. Ah, did he now? I'll make sure to tell the others about this and then we'll make a plan to get rid of him forever. Oh, no, 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 please don't. But he was interrupted by William's loud whistle. Goodbye, Dan. See you later. <sighs> Goodbye, Will. For the next couple of days, all of the engines kept arguing. Well, all except Daniel and Stephen. They weren't on anybody's side. They thought that all this arguing was useless. Electrics are better than steam engines any day. Yeah, they might be. But when you break down, you don't do anything. We finish what we do. Always. Oh, D. I would like to see that. Be careful what you wish for. Oh. Be quiet, old timer. But Stephen was right. The next day, John was pulling an express service from Manchester to Sheffield. Everything went well, at least for the first 15 miles of the journey. Suddenly, John started to run out of power, and he started to slow down. He stopped in the middle of nowhere. What's going on? Hmm, your pantographs aren't working properly. You'll have to go to it works. Well, that's just great. Just then, John could hear a steam engine approaching. It was none other than Stephen. What's going on? John's driver quickly explained the situation, and they made a plan. What's going on? Stephen will push you up the hill. What about his train? He's taking it with him. What? Suddenly, John could feel being pushed from behind. At first, he didn't believe it. It was possible, but soon he did.
They made good time as they went along. At Penniston, they had to stop to let off passengers. In the meantime, Stephen shunted his freight train onto a siding, and then he got coupled up to John and his train at the front. Why did you shunt your train onto that siding? Timothy is being sent up to collect it. Oh! Soon, the guard blew his whistle, and after he jumped into his department, they were off. A few miles down the line, John suddenly spoke up. I'm sorry, Stephen. Whatever for? I called you old and for the arguments we've been having every day. No problem, mate. After all, we're all the same railway now. When they reached Sheffield, John was sent to the engine repair shop at Doncaster for some repairs. He came back from the works a different engine. He apologized to all the other engines, and now, he's a proud member of the Woodhead Line's fleet of engines. <laughs>